I was doing some experiments on my engine this week, wondering whether I could power it with compressed air instead of steam. This is my normal air compressor. It runs by plasma cutter usually, but I can pump up the tire on a wheelbarrow with it too, or connect small workshop tools to it like a stapler. It's a 200 litre tank, pretty big, but the pressure inside is quite low only around 100 psi pounds per square inch it will run my engine for about five minutes so i wouldn't get very far if it was powering a locomotive so i asked our friend diamond if he would lend me a diving tank because diving tanks are pressurized much more basically they squeeze more air into them he dropped off two for me to try thanks diamond this is obviously a much smaller bottle than my big red one, only 15 litres, but the pressure is much higher, around 2,200 psi. I connected my welding gas regulator to it and it confirmed the pressure, but it wouldn't work <laughs> because the regulator regulated the airflow too much. It wouldn't let the air out fast enough to work the engine, which makes sense because when you're diving or welding, you don't need vast amounts of air. So I had to go and get a new connection made up so I could release more air directly into the engine. And that's what I did. I started up the engine and turned on the timer. Without a regulator, I had to adjust the outflow quite a bit as the pressure dropped. I didn't want it running flat out, surely that would just blow the pipes off and break things, so I attempted to have it running at a good brisk pace, hoping that that would equate eventually to trundling a small load along the railway. And it settled into a good speed, and it kept going. And going. The fittings and the pipes became frosty as heat was taken up as the air expanded but other than that everything seemed fine and it kept going until eventually I decided it ran out a sufficient puff at 14 minutes which was more than I'd expected and very interesting I think it means that a large 50 litre bottle, pressurised to a similar amount, could run this engine non-stop for 45 minutes. Which sounds very promising, doesn't it? I can imagine trundling up the field, through the bank, over two other fields, loading logs onto a wagon and making it back again just before the air runs out. Which, if it worked, would be very exciting and satisfying. The downside to all that though is the costs involved. A big second-hand gas tank could be a couple of hundred euro and to reach the high pressure needed, I'd need a much more powerful compressor and they cost thousands. And obviously, if I used electricity to run the compressor, then each tank full would cost a lot too. And it would be pretty silly to do that because I'd be better off with a battery and an electric motor but in theory at least I could run the compressor using something else other than electricity like water power if I had that or my stationary engine or wind if I had a suitable windmill hmm but before I do anything else I really ought to see if this would even have the power to move itself along the rails so that's what I did 
Now, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on wheels and sprockets and bearings for something that might not work, so instead I used the crudest method possible. With the engine sitting on one of my workshop trolleys, I wound a bit of string around the axle <laughs> and the other end around the engine shaft because I wouldn't want to get too fancy now. And of course by then I'd used up all the bottled gas so I was back on my compressor tank so I couldn't go very far. But just look at this. This is more or less one-to-one -one gearing, so there's potential for a lot more power if I change that and run the engine faster but the wheels slower. But it's definitely going along. But could it pull something? Hmm, luckily I had a fresh load of sleepers handy. After that, there was only one way to go. Please, Sandra, take a seat. Where's the travel going? Um, I don't know. Well, did you buy a ticket? Will it blow up in my face? I, I hope not. We'll see what happens. We see what happens? 